Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shadavia and this is Oh She Budgets where I talk about all things money, budgeting, and savings related. On my channel, you will see things like budget with me's where I share my real numbers. I do cash envelope stuffings, savings challenges, and I also give you guys debt and savings updates on my own personal financial journey. So if any of that is content that you may be into, do me a favor and give today's video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget your notification bell so you never miss the next time I post. Now by the title of today's video, you can see we are doing a $200 low income cash envelope stuffing while currently being on a low income budget. So today's cash stuffing, I am going to be cash stuffing my sinking funds. So if you wanna see how I utilize the cash envelope method or the cash envelope system to help me save for future expenses, then just keep watching today's video. Now, in today's video, I do have a total of six primary sinking funds, but today I'm actually gonna be cashed up in seven sinking funds today, which one of them is gonna be a miscellaneous envelope, but let's go ahead and get straight into today's cash count, and then we can start cash stuffing for my sinking funds. So again, um, today we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200. So $200 that we have to cash stuff into my sinking funds for today's video. So let me go ahead and get the cash set up and then we can start um, cash stuff in my cash envelopes. So, perfect. So let me go ahead and open up my binder. Now, the first sinking fund that I have in my um, cash envelope binder is my vacation envelope. As you can see, it's empty because I didn't think that I was going to be able to take any vacations this year in 2023, but that has <clears throat> since changed. So I am planning to go to Jamaica in September and then I want to go to Vegas in October, but I'm not sure if either of those are going to happen. So I did want to at least start putting some funds aside. I think what I may end up having to do just for time's sake, um, either really, really hustle hard to be able to generate some extra income to be able to um, fund that vacation or take the, you know, a certain amount out of savings to be able to fund um, at least the Jamaica trip. So this year in 2023, when I actually got my tax refund, I just threw it all into my savings because I didn't have any debt. I didn't even, uh, or I didn't have any credit card debt. Let me specify that. Um, and so I didn't have anything that I needed to, you know, catch up on or anything like that. So I just took the entire refund um, that I received in 2023 and I just put it into savings. So I may end up doing that to fund my Jamaica trip, but if I can, again, generate some extra income to help me fund it without going into my savings, that would be ideal. But today, like I said, we are still going to put some cash into our vacation sinking fund. And so I'm just going to put $20, um, which again is not a lot, but it is just a start for what I'm trying to accomplish here in the next few months. So let me go ahead and start adding some funds to vacation envelope. And then I also like to update my trackers as well. And that way I can kind of keep up with the cash that I've saved for my sinking funds. So today is, I'm going to put 29th because I'm pre-filming this video. So today is April the 29th. And then we're going to go ahead and add in $20. And so now that brings our balance down to $20 for our vacation sinking funds. And now we can move on to the next one. So the next cash envelope that I'm going to be cash stuffing for today is my car maintenance. Now, as you guys can see here, my car maintenance currently have $110 in it. And so typically what I do with my car maintenance fund is that Whenever I have leftover funds from my variable expenses or my daily or weekly spending, then I will roll that, you know, that few dollars over to my car and maintenance. And it really has helped out a lot. I don't have any like maintenance I need to do on my car here 
soon but in the next few months um i will need to get like things like my registration it'll probably be time for a new oil change tire rotation etc um so my car maintenance is actually sitting at a decent amount right now so i'm gonna go ahead and just add in ten dollars to this cash envelope um and again this is gonna take care of you know maintenance on my car but i've also decided to if in the instance that i do need to um you know pull some money from here to help me fund like my gas on a weekly basis let's say i'm over budget or i didn't put enough aside then i'll be able to take it from here as well so now in car maintenance i have 50 60 oh let me fix this before i try to count this all out of order um so car maintenance has 50 70 80 90 100 10 20 oh okay yeah 120 so let me go ahead and update my car maintenance tracker as well and then today it again is the 29th and then we just added in ten dollars to this car maintenance now if i'm able to not have to put any additional gas in my car this week since i do get paid then i'll be adding three more dollars here later in the week to um that car maintenance envelope and then moving right along to our next sinking funds so we have a um the next sinking funds that i'm actually going to cash up for today is my date night um cash envelope now um if you guys have been following my channel at least recently i kind of talked about like how i've been going through some things personally um medically per se and I just haven't been able to do much, but everything seems to be uh, returning back to normal, which means that my husband and I can um, start going out and doing some of the date night things that we like to do. So for this sink and funds cash stuff, and I'm going to go ahead and add in $30. We do have how much? 45 already. So this date night envelope is for my husband and I to do something, but it also means that, you know, if we do go out and I want to treat because I don't necessarily um, make him like pay for every time we go out, I like to treat as well. And that's why I do budget because when those times come, you know, I'll love to be able to say like, hey babe, I got the tab this time, or hey babe, you know, this one's on me. Uh, I feel like it's teamwork and not just putting it all on him and expecting him to pay every single time. So now in our date night, we have 20, 40, 60, 70, $75 which is enough to go out to a little dinner. Maybe we want to go to a bar, maybe do like some bowling, um, even catch a movie. It's been so long, you guys, since I've been to the movies. But if we wanted to, um, we do have some funds available for that. So mom, if you're watching, you're probably going to be watching your grandkids here soon. <laughs> uh, so moving on to the next one. Speaking of grandkids, you guys, um, the next sink of funds that I have in my sink of funds binder is my kids envelope. Now, I do have three children. And so what I am trying to do, or at least trying to keep up with, is that every quarter I want to have a total of $300 saved to revamp their wardrobe, um, get them new shoes or just anything that they need that we just haven't um you know updated i guess in the last quarter so that actually equates to well that's going to give each child a hundred dollars so to spend on you know them so whether they need you know underwears socks a new pair of shoes um it's a hundred dollars per quarter and then that way we can just kind of keep up with you know them growing because you all know how fast kids seem to grow um, especially my oldest too, you guys. I'm like, okay, can y'all just slow down for a minute? Um, but yeah, so kids is actually going to get $75, you guys. And so what I'm trying to do again is just try to put in, so we're in April now. So April, I need to put a hundred, have a hundred dollars, which does look like I'm going to fall a little short. And that's because we did a little spending over the weekend for the kids. 
not anything major but just like little things here and there they kind of took us off of you know the hundred dollars for april so for may ideally i will need to add another hundred dollars and then june would be the third month so it should be at three hundred dollars by that time if i can get it to the three hundred dollars before june that would be perfect because there are still other things in between time that you know we have to pay for for the kids obviously um but this sinking fund is really more so you know when it's time for them to get shoes clothes um things like that school's gonna be here again before you guys even know it and so you know how you know pricey that can be especially if your kids you know like for example my kids are in elementary and they're going to middle school and one of my kids didn't wear uniform so now she has to wear uniform so it's a whole thing and i'm gonna have to budget separately or come up with a game plan for that but now in kids we have 50 70 75 80 so 80 dollars how much i put in 75 so let me go ahead and update the tracker as well so now we have eighty dollars and like i said um ideally i just want to put at least have at least um one hundred dollars per per month in there so plus 75 and then that now gives us 80. perfect perfect let me fix that Alrighty, and then the next sinking funds that i have in my sinking funds binder is my holidays envelope now the holidays envelope you guys i don't <clears throat> i haven't been putting much in here for this sinking funds and that's because a lot of the holidays that we celebrate are the last three months of the year so we may buy a costume for halloween um, we cook for thanksgiving dinner and then christmas last year we did a vacation this year we may do some small gifts or whatever the case may be um so we still have a lot of months to kind of prepare for that and we don't even again know you know what our plans are going to be for those months but it's like as soon as we kind of figure out what we're going to be doing then i can better prepare and say okay this is how much i need to start putting aside each month i do have a video you guys if you don't know like what sinking funds you need um i created a video on some top sinking funds that i think everyone kind of needs in their budget especially for someone like what sinking funds are you know how much i need to put in anything i also created another video and it kind of follows a technique that i'm using today is by just letting you guys know how to save for sinking funds when you don't have enough like me personally i don't um, have a goal amount for each one except for my kids I kind of started you know thinking like hey maybe this could work for them but um, these other cash envelopes I kind of just you know put money aside for sinking funds and then whatever I have I kind of disperse it based off of priorities for those months so if you guys ever want to know like how I determine how much is going to go in each it's kind of like you know whatever is the priority at that time so um, that being said again um let me open that i didn't realize this one was already broken but um you guys i'm gonna be putting in five dollars to my holidays envelope and again that's just to put at least something in there to be prepared when those months do come um so we have 20 25 30 35 40 so 40 dollars which is still a great amount um i think last year i budgeted out I want to say like 150 for Thanksgiving uh, dinner, which was like more than enough because I didn't even end up cooking. But this year I do plan on cooking again, but we'll see how that goes. So today we put it in $5. So let's go ahead and update that. It looks like we've just been putting in $5 like each time, which is perfectly fine because again, the whole point of it is to be able to have some funds um, in there or to kind of alleviate the financial stress that comes when it, um, hol with holidays, per se. And then the next sink of funds cash envelope that I have is for birthdays. Now, this is birthday for myself, uh, friends and family, whoever is having a birthday coming up, then that's... Uh, that's who i will spend this cash envelope on so i do like to get gifts or like gift cards um, when it's people's birthdays so today i'm gonna go ahead and cash stuff ten dollars into birthdays 
and I don't think we have any birthday other than my son's birthday that's coming up in May and we're still kind of de trying to determine what we're going to do for his birthday. Uh, but he's the only one that has a birthday that's coming up. My brother's birthday just passed and we went bowling, which is really, really fun. So let me go ahead and today's again 29th plus the $10. And now we have $10. And then the last thing of funds I have, you guys, is my miscellaneous cash envelope. Now, initially, this cash envelope was for my taxes, so my Amazon royalties and my YouTube taxes. Um, but as you guys can see, and I didn't even, I haven't even been updating this. Um, actually, I've just been making a transfer to my high yield savings account. But the the amount that I was putting aside for taxes just became a little bit much for me to just leave it into my cash envelope. And so what I've done is I've actually put that into a high, completely separate high yield savings account to store that money just in case I need it when it's time to pay those taxes. But today I'm gonna cash stuff the rest of this into my miscellaneous envelope and it's not for taxes. So I'm gonna get grab another tracker from back here once I end today's video and put it in here. But as I mentioned earlier in today's video, my oldest two are actually graduating from elementary school and going to middle school, which I'm trying not to think about because I'm like, where did the time go, you guys? But my husband and I have decided that we're going to do them a graduation party that they don't know about. So I thought it would be really, really cool for us to invite some of our family and friends over and some of their friends even that's going to be graduating or finishing, you know, fifth grade as well. Um, and just kind of celebrate them um, for the summer and just get them prepped and excited about going to middle school because it's, as I told my daughter, I'm like, you guys start at the bottom you, when you're in kindergarten, then you make your way all the way up to the top for fifth grade and then you start at the bottom again at sixth grade so that's kind of the position they're going to be in but i'm really excited and i think they're going to have a good time so today i'm going to go ahead and put this last 50 dollars into this miscellaneous cash envelope and again i'm going to just be holding this and storing this for their graduation um party so i think um i've been looking and so i'm thinking anywhere from 100 ish to like 150 is gonna be enough. And we're planning for it the first week in June. So we still have time um, to plan for that. But that is it, you guys, for today's cash envelope stuffing. Again, we did cash stuff a total of $200 into my sinking funds finder. So if you made it all the way to the end of today's video, let me know what are your two top categories for your sinking funds. And as always, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, you guys. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget the notification bell so you never miss the next time I post. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.